So I'm here with jazz legend Ralph Towner, the amazing, the one and only. So that was an amazing show. It's so great to hear you here in Chesky Bojovica. How did it feel? Uh, fantastic. A great crowd and a, such a beautiful thing. And, and we had a great concert, too. No, I mean, we were really, really having a good time, I say. That's great to hear. <laughs> now, I have to know, how long did it take you to develop your personal sound? Oh, that's a good question, actually. Uh, uh, well, it takes a long time, I think. The, I started very late on the guitar when I was 22, so uh, playing just classical, studying classical guitar. And, uh, and I was already kind of a jazz player, and I was developing that independently from the guitar. And slowly, slowly, I started writing a lot of music. I mean, that's one way to get an identity is to write your own music. But uh, as far as the way of playing, I've always emulated piano players on my guitar playing. I mean, I've n never really played with a pick, so so uh, I think that's how I started sounding a little bit unusual. It was that I, uh, I approached the guitar like a piano. Yeah, you played piano before you played guitar, correct? Well, yeah. I mean, I've always uh, my my whole family were musicians, and uh, and uh, I always noodled around on the piano since I was a child. That uh, and imitated records somehow in it, but uh, I really never refined it until uh, let's say college age or university age, and, and then when I finally moved to New York, then I I actually survived in New York as a piano player before. Because the guitar is kind of different, and uh, I played with a lot of Brazilian musicians in New York in the uh, early, late '60s, early '70s. I guess you were about 20 years old then, yeah. Right, exactly. I was actually I was nearing retirement. Yeah, oh, you are retired now, is that? Yeah, correct? yeah. I'm actually in 163. But they've done a wonderful job with the. Uh, I I can't believe that they, they. Botox, Botox is great. Botox and the the surgery is fantastic. Right. The arms. Right these days. Is it true you have a metal heart? Yeah, I do. I actually, it's tin. Tin. I, I'm just incredible. I, I can't <laughs> believe this. But so I could use some of that. <laughs> So, um, how, what turned you on to the guitar? It's sort of weird. I was graduating as a, in music composition, in classical composition, and I heard a psychology student who was playing classical guitar. This is my senior year in, in uh, university, believe it or not. I thought, that's what an, I think I really want to learn this instrument. And so then I, went, I lived in Vienna. I moved to Vienna and studied in Vienna, and that's where I learned the classical guitar. I mean, you're definitely amazing on a guitar as well as a piano. Oh, thank but you. The piano is kind of <laughs> no. a little. There's so many great piano players, I feel a little embarrassed sometimes. Come on. So, what inspires your compositions? Well, I tell you, uh, I can be in the worst, the saddest mood and write the happiest piece and vice versa. So, it, it's a kind of an internal thing. I, I don't see a tree and want to write a, a piece. I see a tree and want, I want to just sort of lean up against it maybe and fall asleep so so it's, it's basically uh, it's a whole other language and I search around in this world of uh, sounds and until I find two things that really click and they, they sort of ah this is a piece and then I it kind of telescopes from there so uh, I'm basically completely uh, dependent on what's inside my head basically what I hear now, so many jazz musicians today look up to you as one of the greatest idols. Is this true? Totally true. I'm Swear on my life. A little bit. I think people are kind of kidding me when they no, say that. No, my dad is definitely one of them. So, yeah, but he's an old buddy, so I, he doesn't count, you know. He totally counts. <laughs> totally, 100%. He's just a little kid. He's one of the guys that we were all hanging around in New York City, you know, in, in the lofts and stuff. But, so, what up-and-coming jazz musicians do you enjoy listening to? What? Boy, there's a lot of them. You know, I just there's a young there's a young piano player from Oregon, believe it or not, that that uh, I knew his grandfather in college. His grandfather was a, a incredible person, and his name is uh, Dan Tepfer, and he's a piano player that just has everything. He's born in Paris, grew up in Paris, but he's like a regular, uh, just an American boy. He lives in New York City now, but studied in London as well. And it's just a brilliant young piano player, and uh, and I'm sure we'll hear from him in the future. But there's always something, somebody popping up that it's unbelievable. 
I think our interview is almost finished. I think so, too. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank it was you, so Stephanie. great hearing you. Uh, great. Look forward to hearing thank you again you, soon. Thank you, Stephanie. Great.